Hi everybody and welcome to this short demonstration of the PDS Trader online app and options tool. Of course this is found at paydaystocks.com and today's demonstration is not going to be exhaustive but it will cover enough that you're going to see the power and the benefit of this program as well as the uniqueness. There's nothing like this in the industry. No other tools uh, provide what we are providing including any of the brokerage tools and platforms so uh, it's unique and I think you're going to be very very pleased with what it will how it will benefit you and how it will help you as a trader so the first thing I'm going to do is go over uh, just a quick list of the basic functionality of PDS Trader Online uh, first of all it instantly scans for and provides all opportunities for almost any option strategy uh, number two it empowers you to quickly and easily build custom option strategies and it comes with some standard strategies that are in there so if uh, some of the standard and system strategies that are in there if you want to go beyond those you can you can custom build your own and you can actually use those as a template uh, as a matter of fact you don't have to start from scratch I'll get to that here in a minute and then it also provides you the ability to create unlimited custom performance projection graphs so you can create any uh, projection performance graph that you want uh, you, it can be as many legs as you want you can create as many as you want you can save them literally you can save a hundred different projection graphs if you want and I'll talk about that more later on as well and then depending on your subscription level it also provides access to various signals of some of these strategies so you know there's a lot of opportunities in some of these strategies and you have to pick which one you want to you want to take advantage of right and you'll see here in a minute I'm going to show you the opportunities in an iron condor strategy and there's actually 574 opportunities that meet my criteria in this particular example and so you gotta pick which one and so there are some signal subscriptions that are available depends on your su subscription level and then there are also some educational videos again basic subscription has uh, some of the educational videos and then if you go beyond a basic subscription then you have access to a lot more videos as well so those are the main features and we're constantly adding to this by the way and and I think you'll see how and why we can add to this but let's just start going over this in a little bit more detail I'm going to start with how PDS Trader instantly scans for and provides all opportunities for various option strategies such as for example credit spreads or iron condors or butterflies or any of the basic uh, standard strategies that are uh, that are out there uh, we basically already have a version of those pre-built in PDS Trader online for you to access so uh, I divide them into two different categories the first one is standard strategies which includes iron condors butterflies credit spreads etc etc and then system strategies and system strategies are ones that are a little bit more tailored uh, they're custom by me uh, they include a lot of the time warp stuff so here are the standard strategies that are included and this comes with every basic subscription to PDS Trader online you'll have instant access to all of these and you will have the ability to add to these or change these at will as many as you want however you want to do it I'll get to that again but these are the standard strategies so iron condors covered calls covered call puts using puts instead of the long option uh, straddles uh, just buying calls or puts vertical credits OTM you can you can literally be as specific with any of these strategies as you want or as broad as you want so those are the standard strategies and then here are the system strategies and you'll notice here that there's a lot of time warp in here and that's my main focus in uh, in my weekly option approach is I focus on the time warp approach and there are many many different variations of how you can apply the time warp approach but all of these are included with the basic subscription so you can uh, scan for all of those and and see what those are all about and so then you know at that point you can also add to these and so there's another section which won't have anything in it when you subscribe but it'll be custom strategies and those will be the ones that you build now how does it view the opportunities well basically well, all you're gonna do is you're gonna click on whichever 
a strategy that you want to view the opportunities for. So for example, if you want to look at the all opportunities that exist for iron condors, uh, you click on the condor-iron tab and you click on this little eyeball button here, this watch button if you will, and then it's going to bring up all of the opportunities. And you'll notice here that uh, there's uh, expirations for 812, 819, 826, 92, 99, and 916. And so it, literally this is giving you all of the opportunities that exist uh, for all of these different expirations. And you can, again, you can limit that to just one expiration or two or whatever it is. Uh, but you can click on the tab and, and that's how they're divided. And you'll also notice here that there are, again, 574 opportunities. So there's a lot. Now on the 819 tab, you'll notice here that it provides a quick view of all of the opportunities. So there's the AET, that's the first one, then Apple, then AET, 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 and then Apple. And then if I were to scroll down, there's a lot more stocks that are involved. But I have these sorted by the profit to risk ratio. This is the max profit to max risk ratio. And I sort them to give me the best one at the very top. And I can sort this by any of these columns. So whatever, however I want to sort it, it's going to show me. If I want to sort it in alphabetical order, I just click on symbol, etc., etc. So it will quickly show me the ones that I want to see, the best ones that I want to see. And uh, this is just the first view. And obviously an iron condor, if you're not familiar with what an iron condor is, that's not what this video is about, but it contains four legs. And obviously you don't want to look at four legs when you're just scanning for the best opportunity. So if there's one that I want to look at specifically, then all I do is I click on it. So if I want to look at this first one, AET, I click on it and it immediately provides a drop down of the details of that strategy. So it gives me all the leg details with different columns in the blue. Uh, that is the quick view and then when I click that, it provides the uh, the different legs and all of the different values for those legs. So I can quickly see what's going on with that particular example. Then if I want to look at the risk performance graph of that particular opportunity, I just click on where this orange arrow is pointing. That is my risk graph and it's going to show me the risk graph for that particular opportunity and you can see that the max profit here is about almost $200 this gray vertical line is where the stock is at the time that I'm looking at the opportunity. So uh, the stock can move down and I'll make money. It'll move, it can move up and I'll make money. The breakeven range is between about 116 and 121 ish. And, uh, and then it just gives me a picture of the overall risk reward uh, analysis. So if I want to compare all of the risk analysis graphs for all of these opportunities. All I do is come up here and I click on the compare risk graphs and guess what it's going to do. Once I click on that it's going to allow me to see a thumbnail view if you will a little bit actually this is a bigger than thumbnail view obviously but it's going to allow me to just quickly look at the risk graphs and I can scroll down there and I can see literally all 574 opportunities by looking at the risk graph for all of these opportunities just by simply scrolling down here. It's going to show me six on a page and I scroll down and it'll um, keep adding so I can see six at one time on my screen uh, so they're big enough that they actually mean something and, and they're small enough to where I can see multiple ones at the same time. Um, so that provides a tremendous uh, value for me to quickly see which one of these I might want to take a look at. Then if I find one that I want to trade, now this only we only have this right now for TWS or IB, Interactive Brokers, and Thinkorswim. And we're creating a much, much better way to do this. But until that is there, what happens is if I want to take this trade, right, I have to go into my, for example, my IB platform. And then I have to put all of these legs together. And then I have to put it in the order. And so what this will allow me to do is instead of putting all those legs into IB individually, and again, this is just a quick temporary thing until we uh, release the much, much, much better version uh, where you can actually trade through this. But 
uh, all you do is click on the TWS and then copy the text and then paste it into IB and it automatically puts all four legs in there. So we've got it created so it does that for both TWS and, T and uh, Thinkorswim and uh, then eventually what it will do is you'll just be able to hit trade and it will go ahead and put that into IB for you. Nonetheless, it's very, very simple, uh, makes it a little bit quicker, just something easy to do. And that basically shows you what can be done with the each of the opportunities. And you can do that with all of the strategies. You can find, uh, you can quickly analyze and take a look at all of the different opportunities for any strategy that you want in there. That was just one example, obviously. So the next thing you can do is you can create custom performance projection graphs. So when you log into PDS Trader, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see uh, the signal programs, and again, if you're a basic subscriber, all you're going to see is Time Warp Core. If you subscribe to any of the other signals, then you have other signal programs available, and they'll show up uh, when you log in. And then it'll show you uh, all of your custom strategies, and then all of your system strategies, and then or all of the system strategies, and then below that, if I were to scroll down, it'll show me the standard strategies. And I can view the opportunities for any of these, right? So I can create my own, um, but this is the basic dashboard, if you will, that you'll look at when you log in. So to create a custom portfolio risk performance graph, just go up here to portfolios where this orange arrow is. Click on that, and then it'll list all of your portfolios. Now this is very, very interesting um, and very, very powerful, very useful. I can create as many of these as I want, and you can see I've already got some, and actually if you were to scroll down, there's one where I have like 150 portfolio graphs saved so that I can access them at some point in the future. All right, so I can, um, I can title them anything that I want. When I create a new portfolio, it's going to ask me to name it, name the portfolio, so I can name it anything that I want. And I, um, on a lot of these, I, I don't show it on here because I needed a more simple, uh, simplified uh, screen to show you. But on the one where I have like 150 graphs, I'll put the date, I'll, I'll title it the date and the strategy and the market. And that way I'll know what it is that I'm looking at. And I can uh, go over here and I can put any notes that I want. Uh, so that I can access this any time in the future. If I want to access a trade that I made a year ago and look at the risk graph of that trade, of what it was when I made it, uh, then I can do that. And I can uh, quickly find it by the notes or by the title. And then I just click on the eyeball, and it's going to bring up that risk graph right, of what it was, even though it was a year ago. Uh, so very, very powerful. Nonetheless, you click on uh, Create New Portfolio. It's going to bring you to a window after you title it. And I titled this one PDS Trader Video. And it's going to ask you to uh, bring up an option chain and which symbol it is you want to bring up an option chain. I just put SPY in here. It's then going to bring up the option chain. And um, I can tell it to show this many strikes. Up here, um, you can see Show 10 Strikes. Well, I can show all strikes if I want to scroll all the way through there. But nonetheless, I'll just simply choose which of these options I want to throw in my risk graph by hitting the buy or the sell, buy the strike, and of course, here's the date on each of these chains. So I can put as many of these in my risk graph as I want, and it's going to show me what those are. So here's an example of basically four legs that I've thrown in there, and I can dictate and change what each of these are uh, so for example I have a one leg one is a sell which is colored in pink leg two is a buy which is colored in blue and I can change all of these once they're in there so um, you know what I'll do often is after I get into a trade I'll go in here and I'll fill in uh, the actual fill price so that I have an accurate view of my actual trade and then I can do what ifs you know what if I add a buy call here or what if, uh, what if I add a buy call here at this price? And then it will give me that projection graph if I'm able to add something to my trade, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but I can change any of these. I can add, I can have 25 legs in here if I want. And obviously that's not gonna be useful because no one's, very few people are able to trade 25 legs in any kind, uh, in any kind of active strategy. Um, so you know, not, ne not necessary, but I'm just saying it's the ability to play around with this is unlimited 
and you can save it and then you can start again etc etc there are many things that you can do with this uh, so for example uh, over to the right of the graph you're going to see the ability to stress test it and basically if you've never heard of a volatility crush what happens uh, sometimes is that um, as a option is getting closer to the expiration the volatility will drop and the value of those options will be less than what was projected at the time you got into the trade uh, based on however much time is left on on those options and so what I can do is I can drop the volatility by a percentage and it will redraw the graph so what I do is I like to drop it by anywhere from 10 to 20 and I can go all the way to 100 percent but I'll, I'll drop it from 10 to 20 I'll do here this is the master value and I'll just drop the master value just to make sure that everything's dropped and it'll drop all of these by you know however much I want to drop it redraw the graph and then I have I'm basically putting a stress test on it so I can see okay if the volatility drops out of these options before I uh, before the expiration what is going to be the actual value and uh, so I can do that and then you'll see here that I can determine what the x-axis is on the graph or the uh, um, or the minimum x-axis and the maximum x-axis so I have it here at 10 210 and 224 and that's just so that I can kind of zoom in on the uh, important parts of the graph this is actually unlimited profit potential if I were to extend this graph on its unlimited profit potential and uh, then it kind of shrinks everything else because it goes way over here and so I just cut it off at 224 and that zooms it in and, and allows me to um, uh, see more relevant aspect of the graph kind of zoom in if you will on that and then it also allows me to say okay what if I get out of this before expiration of my short options and uh, so it'll allow me to do that by changing the date on the exit date and it'll redraw the graph based on exiting on that date uh, as well and then I mentioned earlier you can add notes in here so when you save it and you want to reference it at a future date you can add all sorts of notes in here so you know exactly what it is without having to open it uh, again very very useful and um, those are saved by the way even if you stop subscribing those are saved for 90 days so you can come back you know if you go on vacation for a month or whatever you don't want to subscribe you can come back and uh, those will be uh, those will still be there within 90 days uh, so you know, we'll do that for you nonetheless let's look at the custom building of strategies for just a second again this is not going to be an exhaustive example it's, it's going to be just an overview but I think you'll see enough that you'll know what you uh, are able to do now so first of all you can duplicate any strategy so any of the system strategies um, that are already in there if you don't want to start from scratch you can just simply duplicate it and it's going to duplicate that strategy rename it and then allow you to to make changes that you want so here's the duplicate button and it's the it's the uh, um, the green folders or the green papers if you will so if I want to duplicate the iron condor if I want to make changes to it and maybe further customize exactly what I'm looking for I just hit duplicate and what's going to happen it's going to duplicate the strategy and it's going to show me what conditions are in each leg and so you're able to create four leg strategies and the reason is because that's all the brokers will allow you to trade you can't trade a six leg strategy with a broker you have to let you have to actually leg in if you have six legs you have to go four and two or three and three or whatever the case is so we limit it to four for now and um, you can change or edit any of these conditions and we have the conditions categorized by time or expiration by the strike by the option value by the stock value and uh, you can click on any one of these tabs and you can look at the conditions that you're able to use and you're almost unlimited in what you can create by using these very easily edited conditions that you just simply click on the little plus arrow here and it'll add it to whatever uh, leg that you highlight and so literally you can change or edit any of these and um, also create your own here's leg one properties that's gonna sell one call I can change that to sell two calls I can change it to sell three puts I can change it to buy you you get the idea right so whatever I'm highlighted 
I can change over here through that and then I can also change the uh, conditions that are included in there. So once I have a strategy built, however it is I want to build the strategy, I can tag it. Um, I can you know, create basically easily reference tags. I can create strategy notes that are going to show up so I know what I'm doing in that strategy without actually having to open it. And then I can save it, I can edit columns, etc., um, which I'll get to here. But first, let's take a look at how to edit one of the conditions in an already existing strategy. And again, you can build these from scratch just as easily. Uh, and anytime, so it'll start with leg one, and then you can just add a new leg once you've created the leg one. So with leg one, I'm going to sell one call, and it's going to be out of the money. That's it. Leg two, I'm going to um, buy one call, and the expiration is going to be equal to leg one expiration. Uh, so it's going to be have the same expiration as leg one, and then strike price is going to be three points greater than leg one strike. So I can reference uh, different legs and create ratios of um, relationships of how these work together. But let's say I want to change the strike price is three points greater than leg one strike. Well, I go to all active conditions, and it's going to list all active conditions in this leg, and I just simply hit the minus barrow, uh, minus button, and it's going to take that particular condition out of the leg, or I can edit it from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the actual condition. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say strike, instead of strike being exactly three points greater, I'm going to say strike is between two and four points greater than leg one strike. Right, so I'm broadening it. Instead of it's just three points greater than leg one strike, I'm going to say it's going to be between two and four points. So it's going to expand the number of opportunities that it actually looks for. And I can edit that over here in the strike conditions by saying one to four or three to eight or however I want to do it, however broad and however many opportunities I want it to show me, I can do it through that. And there are a lot of conditions here, and I'm not going to go over those conditions. That's why I say this is not exhaustive. Uh, you can just go through them. They're fairly self-explanatory. And um, uh, you'll notice here, for example, on the option values, you can click on premium. Anywhere you see a drop box that starts with premium, you can change to uh, a bunch of different uh, variables. So for example, if I want to say the delta is greater than 0.5 then I'll just drop on uh, click on the option value tab uh, click on the premium uh, click on delta and then change it to 0.5 and then add it to my conditions if that's what I want to look for and create a strategy based on some of the uh, some of the the uh, Greeks then you can do that as well so there's a lot of versatility here on what you can do I'm not going to do that for this example but nonetheless once I'm done uh, with making changes to the strategy itself. Uh, I click on edit columns and what it's going to do is it's going to show me what is going to be viewed when I list the opportunities. When I view all of the opportunities the first one that it's going to show is the example output which I've already showed you earlier and it's going to have all of these columns there and I can I can customize and dictate which of these columns are showing and which of these are not showing. And then when I click on a particular example, I can actually dictate what the trade per trade or the leg by leg information that is shown as well. And it's all done, if I scroll down below here to edit columns, it's all done through basically a click, uh, a simple click process for the most part. So here's the example output column. So this is the first one that I'm going to see. When it lists all of the different opportunities, this is what I'm going to see. And here's the example output example. So it actually gives me an example of the strategy that I'm looking at and, an, and a real life opportunity. And so I can simply remove any of this. If I don't want to look at any of this, I can remove any of it by clicking on the uh, red button here uh, out of that, and it will take that out. I can add or take out any of the columns for the trade by trade or the leg by leg example over here in this left column. And I can scroll down here by the way and it's going to show me other uh, things that I can add in here. So if, if it's not showing anything that I want it to show that in the leg by leg I can simply add them here and you can see it has the, the Greeks uh, available as well. 
So what I'm going to do just for as the example is I'm going to just take away some of these columns and then add my own custom column. All right, so I'm taking away the price per day, earnings, and the exit dividend. And I uh, simply click on the red, and if I want to add them back in, I'll, I'll click on the green. But you can see here it takes them out, so I cannot see those in the example output. And I'm going to add my own custom one in here. And how you add your own custom is, first of all, you title it. And you can title it anything you want. So this is an iron condor, and what I want to do is I want to look at the, I want to see the long strike. And maybe I want to see the strike of all of them in this first opportunity view that I have. And I don't want to have to click on the opportunity to see uh, the leg, the strikes that are being used. Maybe I want to put those into uh, the initial view. Well, all I have to do is label the title. It, uh, I can title it anything I want, and then tell it what to look for. And so if I want to look at the leg two strike, then I just type in leg two strike. And down here in the result, it's going to show me what that result is. And if I want to say leg one strike, I can say leg one strike. Or I can say whatever it is I want to strike. If I want to say leg one delta, I can say leg one delta and add that to my column. And it will show me uh, what is going to be viewed in this column down here in the result to make sure that I am typing the right thing then I can do any notes that I want and obviously update it at that point so here I add the leg I'll add to the archive the leg one strike and add it to the column and as you can see here once I add it it's going to uh, put it up here in this view at that point so now on all of them when I look at all of the opportunities it's going to show me all of the long, uh, long call strikes and again I can do uh, long put strikes short put strikes and short call strikes and do the same thing by labeling it leg by leg and um, I can have as many up here as I want to be able to do that but it also allows you to create custom fields or custom columns and you can be as complex as you want with these so for example Sometimes the bid ask uh, difference is huge in some of these securities. You know, if it's it's thinly traded, what uh, PDS Trader does is it defaults to giving you the worst. So if you're buying, you're buying the ask, and if you're selling, you're selling the bid. And sometimes that's not really accurate. And uh, so what you can do is you can tell it to give you the the uh, average between the bid ask on every leg or any given leg, and you just simply uh, create a formula that is very similar to Excel and you label it leg one bid plus leg two or leg one ask in parentheses divided by two and then that's going to give me the average price for bid ask and now I've created an average bid ask column right and here's the result here's the leg one bid plus leg two ask, or leg one ask divided by two equals 56 right so I add that and now I've got my long call strike and my average bid ask column that I view every time I view the opportunity so if you want to do probability for example you can go 1 minus Delta and it will give you a 1 minus Delta and you can create a percentage uh, either a, a decimal point or a percentage on that and you can literally label that the probability right of that option if you want so you can do that you can create these long I've got I've got some some columns that are doing three line uh, complex math uh, equations and giving me the result in that column so I can view it by a custom uh, custom math problem that I come up with using any of these things that are available uh, any of the any of the Greeks um, the bid ask the strikes uh, strike difference I mean anything that you can think of so very very complex if you want to if you are so inclined play with it trust me it's, it's really cool um, but nonetheless I can take a look at all of these I can change the columns and then again I can take a look at all of the risk graphs to see how my changes occur uh, affected the risk graphs and you can see here that um, what I did was I created a strategy where there's very little risk to the upside and most of the risk is to the downside so I skewed the risk levels by creating uh, by changing the strategy slightly on these iron condors so 
And that kind of gives you a brief overview of all of the functionality of PDS Trader. It is truly, truly impressive. I absolutely love it as a trader, which is why I created it. <laughs> um, and we're only beginning. We've only touched the surface of what we are providing with PDS Trader. So hopefully you found this uh, tremendously helpful. I look forward to uh, hearing your input on, um, on this very powerful tool.